here we are in the news feed. I'll click on the ad, and then we get the greeting message. I'll enter in an address, click to provide my email, and we're done. How easy was that, right? You just saw a click to messenger ad in action. Normally, advertisers link their Facebook ads to a website landing page, but with click to messenger ads, you're driving traffic to your messenger chatbot instead. You might think click to messenger ads are just some shiny new feature you can use to stand out from your competitors, but these ads have very obvious business benefits too. Let's take a quick look at how one of our customers, Lego, benefited from using click to messenger ads. Lego's goal was to help shoppers find the perfect gift for their loved ones during the holiday season. So using ChatFuel, they built a product recommendation chatbot and promoted it using click-to-messenger ads. The results were pretty impressive. Lego achieved a 6x return on ad spend, meaning for every dollar they spent on click-to-messenger ads, they earned $6 back. They also reduced their normal cost per acquisition by 30%, meaning LEGO could skyrocket its sales without the need to increase its advertising budget. Long story short, LEGO used ChatFuel and click to messenger ads to build a money-making machine. How was all of this possible? Well, Facebook likes when you keep people in its ecosystem rather than sending them to an external website. Plus, Messenger provides a lightning-fast user experience. Unlike a website, there are no slow loading landing pages. So whether you're a globally recognized brand like Lego or a small business, click to messenger ads are the key to better performance and business growth. And if you keep watching until the end of this video, we'll give you a free chatbot template that will get you up and running with click to messenger ads in minutes. Are you ready? Let's jump in. Okay, let's set up our first click to messenger ad. In this example, we'll promote a lead magnet for a vitamins and supplements company. We'll send a free sample of our product to people who give us their email address. First, we need to create the ad itself in Facebook Ads Manager. To do that, go to facebook.com slash ads manager. Click the green Create button to create a new ad campaign. Choose Messages for the consideration and click Continue. Let's name the campaign Free Sample to keep things organized. Click Next. Double check that the message destination is Click to Messenger. You may want to customize the budget and schedule settings, but this works for now. You'll definitely want to refine your audience targeting here, but this varies widely depending on your business. So we'll keep the default settings for this demo. Click Next again. Under the Identity section, select the Facebook page you want to run the Click to Messenger ad from. Scroll down to the Ad Creative section and click Add Media. Let's upload an image of the free sample we're using as the lead magnet. Let's fill out the primary text field. We'll write, Claim your free sample now. For the headline, I'm going to add a finger emoji pointing to the Call to Action button. Press Control, Command, and Space to open the emoji window if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, hold down the Windows and semicolon keys. Obviously, emojis are optional, but based on my experience, they can improve the clickability of your ad since they provide a helpful visual cue. As you can see, another best practice is explicitly referring to Messenger somewhere in your ad copy. By doing that, you properly set expectations. Otherwise, people might expect a landing page and then feel disoriented when the Messenger app opens. Lastly, we need to click Publish, and that's it for Ads Manager. Now, over to ChatFuel. Here we are on ChatFuel.com. As you can see, I'm using the same Facebook page that we used earlier when creating the ad. If you're wondering how I got here, simply create a ChatFuel account, create a new bot, and then select your Facebook page here in the Grow tab. Now, let's go to the Flows tab to pick up where we left off in Ads Manager. Click the big plus button to create a new flow. I'll collapse this side panel so we have more room. Double click on the canvas and add the Click to Messenger Ads entry point. Click Choose Ads, and we'll select the ad we just created. If you want, you can select multiple ads that link to your chatbot. 
For example, maybe you're A-B testing some different photos for this ad campaign, but you still want all of those ads to connect to the same chat experience. But let's stick to one ad for now. So I'll click Save. Next, we need to create the greeting message. This is the first message the chatbot sends to the user when they click on the ad. I recommend switching from text and buttons to text and quick replies. Since the user has already seen the ad at this point and knows what they're signing up for, we don't need to provide any context. Let's cut right to the chase and ask, what's your shipping address? We'll save their answer to something called a user attribute, which we'll use later. Let's call it shipping address. We'll click on this connector and drag it over to this second block. Remember, we also want to capture the user's email address before we send them a free sample. So let's click Add Content and choose Save User Email. Let's enable Allow Facebook Email Suggest. That way Facebook will pre-populate the email listed on the user's profile and they can submit it with one click. Let's click Add Content again and choose text and buttons. We'll ask the user, what's your email? And drag it above the save user email plugin. Then we'll drag both of these connectors to a confirmation message. I'll choose text and buttons and say, your free sample is on the way. We also need to notify our supplier whenever a new order is placed. So I'll drag the connector again and choose Bot Action. Click Add Action and choose Notify Admin via email. I'll click on the gray box here to configure the settings. For the email, I'll write supplier at vitamins.com and click Return. You can add multiple email addresses here if you'd like. For the subject line, let's say new free sample order. Then for the actual message, let's add all that user attribute data we captured. ChatFuel automatically captures the user's first name and last name, so we'll type those two user attributes surrounded by the curly brackets. Below that, let's include the shipping address and email user attributes. In case you're wondering, you hold down the shift and return keys to create a line break. You also might be thinking, how can I automatically send this customer data to my CRM rather than an email address? That's totally possible using our JSON API plugin. You can find more information about the JSON API in the description below. Very soon, we'll also release a one-click Google Sheets integration. This is a no-code solution that lets you capture all your customer data in one place in seconds. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'll close this window, click Publish Changes to Facebook, and we're all set. Now let's see what this looks like from start to finish from the user's point of view. To do that, go back into Ads Manager. Select the ad and click Preview. Click the arrow button at the top and choose View on Facebook Mobile Newsfeed. Here we are in the newsfeed. I'll click on the ad and then we get the greeting message. I'll enter in an address, click to provide my email, and we're done. How easy was that, right? Remember, you can download the chatbot template we built today for free using the link in the description below. Smash the like button if this tutorial was helpful for you. Now, before wrapping up, we have one more thing. If you're seeing unfamiliar quick replies in your click to messenger ad that you didn't set up, it's probably because of an automatically enabled feature in your Facebook page settings. To disable it, go into your Facebook page settings and click messaging. Next to set up automated responses, click set up, then disable frequently asked questions. Again, this will ensure your click to messenger ads run as intended. Congratulations, now you know how to successfully run click to messenger ads from start to finish, just like Lego did. So what's holding you back from growing your business with ChatFuel? 
Get started right now by checking out the free, incredibly valuable resources in the description below. If you still have questions, you can reach us anytime at team at chatfuel.com. Thanks for watching and happy botting.